Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 155. Rolling our way into oh my gosh, it's already September. I hope you're having you had. Uh, I hope you had a wonderful summer and are having a wonderful fall, since I think that's what we're into now. And I somehow try to merge those two words and the two sentences into one. Ah, oh, never mind. It might be a long meeting. Let's go ahead and get this going. We're going to do triage, and that's about it. I have a question at the end that we'll do, um, but mostly triage. We have a few things since we skipped two weeks ago uh, when I was out of town. So, uh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't here with us right here, right now. So, let's go do triage. Bob, you ready? I am ready. All right, here we go. I'm going to skip these bottom two because I have not had time to uh, look into them. I will. Um, just been a little busy. Uh, so, starting at the bottom. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm not logged in. All right. Um, we, well, okay. So, he would like to have Wix Libs turned into NuGet package, I think. Well, there's a mix, and that's I'm I find myself a bit confused. Um, yeah, the idea of consuming of of using NuGet packages as a transport mechanism ah, yeah. is you know pretty common, right? Sure. But then there's <clears throat> there is more. Ah, uh, yes. No, I, I understand this feature. Then yes, I understand this feature. We've actually talked about implementing this at Fire Giant. The ability to move your stuff around via NuGet packages, including setup, and that's the yep. that I'm not. Yeah, no, I can see they're, they're mixed up, but I, I, I can see it. it's kind of it's the new merge module. Um, uh, it's the new merge module, but again, I mean, those are Wixlips, so it's again using NuGet as a transport mechanism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's 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 the new merge module with the the new transport mechanism that NuGet gives you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Because we didn't have any of those before. Yeah, we could toss it in future 4X. We might implement it at FireGiant before that, but other people could implement it before that if they wanted to. Is this supposed uh, to be a targets thing in MS Build? I'm sorry? Is this supposed to be a targets thing in MS Build? No, or is there... there's a lot of bits and pieces to it, I think. you got to get it all oh, built and, out and stuff like that. I mean, it's... From the research that I've done into it, it's you know it's a block of work. Not so it could be done. Wix four should use Windows 10 SDK for all native code. I'm fine with that. Is this already done? It's partially done. All right. Uh, this is a 4.0 thing, right? We're not going to bother doing this. Oh, Wix four <laughs> in the title, Rob. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm I trying try to be helpful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. This seems reasonable to me. Okay. I'll take it and make sure everything is done. I, I did the uh, I did the repos that I needed done, and I'll just verify that the others are there as well. It's simple. It's a simple change. Uh, yeah. All right. <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh, no, Jacob, we're fine on that. We can target. As far as I can tell, we can turn it back to Windows XP. Yay, um, Windows which, XP. Which I hope we don't. Yes. But. Exactly. Yeah, basically this is um, this is simply getting uh, getting away from hard coding the SDK version number. Uh, Visual Studio 2017 does not have a convenient way of saying, give me whatever SDK is installed. You have to explicitly target an explicit version, um, which is just you know nuts because it changes every six months with every new release of Windows, Windows 10. Um, I'm sorry, every new version of Windows as a service, or whatever they want to say. Okay, well this is interesting. If you don't specify a file ID, uh, we're, yeah. we're missing some catch in here that we should be catching. Yes. Yeah. Um, basically, I took a quick look at this one. It's it is a bug. Um, it's it, it there's an assumption in the code. It's just a it's just a bad yeah, assumption I'm in the sure. code. Yeah, I mean it's, it's, um, something that shouldn't slip through has. Amazing, this has lasted as long as it has. Yes. Um, yeah. All right. But it's just a problem when you're trying. It, it, a problem when you're assuming that 
uh, the copy file source is the parent component directory. Understood. Um, oh, I see. Okay, uh, so the question is, would we take this in 3.14? Otherwise, we'll put it in 4.0. There's an easy workaround, I say now. Yep. All right. Convinced. Uh, we'll put it in 4 with basically put a better error message when you do that. Give well, BA functions access to the win proc. Uh, is this done? Oh, yeah, there's a pull request for this. Yeah, I think we should we should look at this in 4. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put it in 4. Um, yeah. Quick standard BA for Although, shouldn't we just automatically forward it onto a theme proc if they don't? If they don't say they handled it, shouldn't we just pass it on to the right thing? Or do we currently expect them to handle, pass it off to def proc? I mean, because you wouldn't want them to accidentally pass it off to def window proc when it needs to go to theme window proc. I didn't know how to do that. Oh, okay. Well, usually it's like if they return true or false, you know, or whatever, although I guess there are other things they could return. Yeah, right now... It's all binary messages, so they're returning an H result. So, like if if they don't implement this message that we're sending, then maybe that's just not valid, but I just thought it would be easier to just specify that th that's what they have to do. Yeah, it just also means that they could get it wrong, and if we can handle it, it's better. Well, I mean, your average when proc says true if it handled the message, and or is it false? I always get those two confused. Um, we should have a similar mechanism so that, you know, Wix standard BA can be the intermediary and, you know, make the call as to who who gets it if yeah. the BA funk didn't, didn't do it. Yeah, I think that's the right thing. Thing to do there. Expecting them to forward on the theme def window proc is just going to ask for trouble. Especially since things will really not work in really weird ways if they don't do that. Well, also, you know, I mean, it, the fact that we're using theme mutal is an implementation detail in Wix standard BA. I don't want to expose that. Yeah, that too. All right, so that's the feedback of that one. But yes, I think we. Sh I think it's a good idea in any way. Anyway. So we can go debate that in the pull request, too. But yes, we can put that in four. Wix firewall extension does not handle port or protocol changes across change repair. Okay. Yeah, this isn't a bug, exactly. There's a link to a previous issue mm -hmm. um, that, yeah, it's, it, it's <laughs> you can argue with the design, um, but the design is that uh, if a rule exists, it is only enabled if it's disabled. Um, th there's no support for, you know, changing them. That was the okay, original so this design. Is a, this is a feature request, then? This is a feature request, um, and I, I, I have to... Uh, again, this, this comes back down to configuration in your setup. Mm -hmm. Um I think this is not a, yeah, change is, modify mode is never going to work well for this. Um, but yeah, it's a you know, reasonable feature request. All right, so we could put it 4x and change it to a feature request. Basically make that clear. It's like, correct, what you've described is the current behavior. I understand right. that you might want different behavior, but that's not what it does right now. I am without my mouse cursor, so this is there we go. Works for buildings aren't zero padded. Uh, this is already fixed, right? I think I saw you fix this. Mm, nope. No. Okay. Um, did we zero pad them in Wix three? Yes. Okay. We yeah, they're right. padded out to four four characters. Yeah. Cool. Digits. We put that four. It'll get picked up in the mop up somewhere. All right. Wix four crashes Visual Studio during build. Well, yeah, I don't care. Uh, put this in four. Well, the code so they're using is so different from what it's 
going to be. Yeah. So I, I'm. Yeah. This actually maybe we can postpone this to the Q and A because I would add a question: Should we get rid of the existing Wix four builds? Um, people pick them up because they're the latest and gentle nudging that it's you know well first of all old, um, not going to be supported and not reflective of you know today doesn't seem to be working. Um, so we're kind of, I mean, I don't want to get rid of it because right now it's the only way you can get any bits of Wix 4, you know, in an official build. Um, that, sorry, yeah. for things for things that we have not yet uh, moved into the appropriate micro repo. No, you're right, you're right, but I, I think it just comes down to, you know, we really need to get Wix 4 going better than we are. We need to get it going, essentially, get it done kind of thing. Sure. And And these bugs just put that, and I think Every time they open one of these things, it's just like, yes, you're right, we need to get this done. Yes, you're right, we need to get this done. So I'm I'm willing to take them right now, um, okay, as it just as a notice of yeah, this is this is where we're at. We need to fix these things. So I hear you, but I think the answer is yeah, we just need to get this fixed. I mean, uh, given all things being equal, and me not picking up sicknesses from my kids, you know, and all that other kind of stuff, and everything else, it's just like yes, we should get all this done. We are working towards it. There are only so many hours in the day. <laughs> that's really where we're at right now. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're working towards. But yeah, we'll put it in four, and we'll, we'll resolve this when merge modules work, and we have a build that merge modules work. Because I, we don't have that build right now. I'm pretty confident. So, anyway, yes, this is correct, and we need to fix it. So we'll take it four. Okay. But I don't want to discuss it deeply because we know that that part of the code has changed a lot. In fact, right now it's not all wired back together. So, no surprises. So, continuing on that thread, now that triage is complete, um, we've done a lot of work in Wix 4, mostly just mostly me and Bob, and Sean has been doing awesome work going back and reviewing all the stuff we've done and leaving comments on, I don't even know what it is. is it on the pull request? Is that where you're leaving them? It's on the commit, because there yeah, was the no commit. pull request yeah, right. for me There's to no be pull able to do anything. For that. Yeah, so on the commit, yeah, because we're just doing so much work in between things. So they're on the commits, which means we need to be able to go back and find them. I'm just curious, what's the best way to track this? Are we better off, like, I'd say we'd almost be better off with like, some of them we need to fix as issues, some of them are just discussion. I, is the best answer just to go through commits and respond to them all? I'm, I'm, I, I'm looking for I've been, I've been looking in the last 10 minutes trying to figure out how I can see my comments and I can't find where I can even see a list of what I've commented in the last week. The only thing that's worked for me is the uh, notifications from GitHub, which are uh, of questionable reliability. The notifications you like, emails. Yeah, yeah. Because the little blue dot thing will go away yeah. after you look at it once, right? Right, right. It's, yeah, completely useless. Um, but the I, I've gotten actually decent results from the emails. Okay, but that means that we have to save the emails. Flag them. Hey, email management, go figure. Or the I hardest just, like, problem is you got to they're all mixed up. Should I just create an issue and then every time I put a comment in, just link to the comment? That may not bad. That's yeah, actually not yeah. a bad idea. Because um, some of them are simple answers and some of them are yeah, we need to fix that, and yes, that's a to-do, and yes, that needs to be better. Um, there's a lot of, you know, experiment, uh, not experimental, new ideas. I don't, they're not experimental. They're like, we're trying to make this work, and sometimes the implementation is only so far. So I appreciate you going back and finding the, yeah, this seems weak. And it's like, yeah, we need to really make that better um, in whatever way is better. So um, that's good. So I don't want yeah, to actually, that would work, right? If if you have a, a comment that you know is like, yes, we should discuss this, 
uh, and maybe this is more than one issue. It's like one is, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, curiosity questions. Uh, the other is, or an other is, um, you know, what the hell were you thinking type of questions. <laughs> Clearly this is <laughs> I'm, I'm not, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, but just different, I think basically it's different priorities. It's like, yeah. I'm curious about why you did this, and we should definitely fix it. Yeah, because I, I think you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I appreciate all of Sean's work and comments as far, so I'm willing to do whatever works for him, honestly. Um, but GitHub is point. is pretty. It's pretty sad how dismal this experience is. Like, it's I don't unless we're missing some feature somewhere that makes this better. But I've been saving the emails, like Bob, going. I have to go back and look at all this stuff, and going. I guess it's just an email. So. Um, I, I, linking to an issue is honestly the best idea I've heard yet. So I think it'll work. It's just every time you put an issue in, you have to add the link to the issue. Every time you put so, a comment in? Yeah. Sorry, yes. Every comment has to have a link to that issue, or yeah, it's all... Copy and paste, right? <laughs> so, well, it's copy... Oh, crap. Copy again, because I copied something else during my review. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, I think that's probably our best bet given what we have with GitHub. I am going to keep the email, so I will go back and answer them. I am just worried about missing anything or getting stuff pulled up. Um, I wish I had more time on this right now. I'm just I'm buried right now through again the end of this month, so it's just like intermediate deadline. So um, <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, it's it's the it's comments on commits. Pull requests have decent. You know, because they have the they added the review capability not too long ago, but on a commit, it's kind of yeah. There's no tooling. I guess also on a pull request, even you can leave comments even after it's been accepted. Yeah, uh, makes that, sense. That has some value too. Then, sure. All right, I have to think about that too. Um, was doing was avoiding or not avoiding was not doing pull requests simply because there wasn't anybody active. And there was so much churn, it wasn't like, here, review this. It was just, here's a set of changes that have been, you know, that need to be made to make this thing go forward. So it was it was a debate of, you know, is the pull request going to add any value? Um, especially since it was like, all right, here's this, and then a whole bunch of other things need to cascade after. It wasn't like, wait for a review on everything. Um, when well, Especially with the micro development. Yeah, well, and, and at this phase of development, there's not a lot of, I mean, we would slow down a lot if we were reviewing everything, especially since a lot of these changes are not exactly sure how this all comes together. It will, right? This is progress, but this is not complete progress. Um, Although I think we're we're getting to a point where we should probably start. No, yeah. we're getting close. We're very close. Yeah. I think there's like um, merge modules and patching both need and bundles all need to just kind of be put in because they're just not there right now. Right, so you can't look at the code and go, "Hey, where's patching?" You're like, "Yeah, no, it's it's purposely commented out to say this comes back in the new form. Um, do that, right? It's like that's not a, and so on and so forth. So there's like those three things, just blocks of work need to be done, and then I think we're definitely in that mode. Now, some things could be pull requested. Even it's like, "Yeah, here's a small change that we could, you know, or not small, but here's this change that could be discussed of yeah. going to change things." Um, just there's enough change in Wix 4 up front to do them. Here's just the development of it. All right. Um, I like the idea of tagging all these comments to an issue going forward. I think that is the easiest way to not lose them, uh, given what we know at this time. So I'm mostly worried about losing them. That's my most, my biggest concern is losing them, because they're good comments. And I really appreciate that Sean is going back and reviewing all of these things, <sighs> um, especially for cases that were like, oh, yeah, that's not good. I'm glad you saw that. The time and place and the moment, that looked like a good idea, but it's obviously not a good idea. So, all right, uh, I think that's that. Anybody else have any other questions, things they want to talk about here? Well, I guess related to that, what do you want to do about my pull request for the Wixcop? Should I just merge it myself, or...? Well, uh, I well, have to comment about the interface. That was my only open question. Yeah, I kind of left that to Bob. <laughs> I have no opinion. I kind of left it to Bob, honestly. 
uh, at, uh, sorry, Wix 4 is a little different than Wix 3, where we were in Wix 3. Wix 4 is a lot more of like, all right, here's kind of where we're at. Once we, once the people doing active development, which, Sean, you've not been, but you're going to, right, which is I'm excited for, and we need to try to figure out how to make that happen. I'm kind of like, let's bring things together as we know generally how things are going forward, and then we can change them over time, because it's not like we can't break things, right? So if we're not sure about the interface, then let's go, okay, let's flip a coin. This feels like the best thing right now, and then we can decide later, okay, no, it's not a good thing, or, or we can add the interface later. Like That's kind of where a lot of these things are at right now um, as we're rolling on, as we're getting on the same page. And with Sean reviewing all the commits after that, because I know Bob was looking at all this stuff while I was working on it, because he was using it for various things. Um, with Sean, you ramping up, I'm more confident that you generally understand where we're going, or at least have an idea of where a lot of the code is. So yeah, like let's commit and then roll forward, and we can always change it. You know, if we we're like, ah, this this thing didn't work out, let's change it and make it better. Does that make sense? So I'm inclined to go, you know take Bob's comment and go, yes, that's a good thing, I'll take the interface out, or go, no, I still think the interface is good, respond to Bob, and then, yes, go forward with the pull request, given where we're at, which is different than the spot we've been in Wix 3 forever, which is the every change, we have to think about the implications of that change for backwards compatibility. Well, I mean, basically, should I just submit the pull request and then immediately merge it myself, and then you guys can just comment if you want to. Yeah, if, if you don't, it, if you have other work that builds on the pull request, then I'm kind of like, yeah, you can submit. If you're like, look, I'm going to commit this now, and I'm going to build on this, and then we can come back and review it. That's fine. I, right now, given where we're at, I'm fine with that. Okay. And to be clear, you're special. <laughs> 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 but the same does not apply to any random person, although I guess other any other random person can't commit. So, is that... Uh, that's because you've been doing enough development in Wix that you you have a general feel of uh, what's going on and how we do things and stuff like that. So yes. And if you have questions, feel free to poke us to say, hey, I really need you guys to look at this because I'm not confident in this change. Then I'll be like, all right, I really need to go look at that one. And and to be fair, you know, again, as as we're getting closer to the point where we we should, in fact, be going back to, you know, standard practices. Yeah, we're not far from that. We're not far. Not far as in commit count. I don't know about time, just because I've been really bad at estimating time right now, right? Like, if you look at my commits, there's a bunch of them, but then there's been none for a couple months here with everything else, and then my hope is that we'll get another bunch of them. And after that next bunch is kind of my view, then we'll be like, all right, cool, Wix 4 is stable enough. Honestly, at that point, I'm hoping we can push it out, that it's like, yeah, this is completely, to other people, unstable, but we believe it, you know, it, it generally works, as opposed to right yeah. now, where it's like, yeah, lots of things just don't work. Like merge modules. We, we know things don't work. Exactly. There's a version where we don't know that things don't work. <laughs> well, we have a decent comment is that they're not going to work out all well, but yeah, yes. <laughs> Help us find the remaining things we don't know about. Yep. Anyway. That's where we're working towards. All right, uh, that's all I got. Did I did that did that answer your question, Sean? Wow, my speech. yes. <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna go back to writing code because that's clearly what I need to do. My fingers are operating faster than my brain and my tongue. Sorry, not my brain, my tongue. All right, uh, we'll call it good. Uh, two weeks, I think. Uh, virtual machines are eating the memory off of my computer and I can't see my calendar. Um, Outlook is crushed, that is. Uh, two weeks, 27th. I guess we'll see everybody in 27th. I don't know of anything else going on that day. Feels like something's happening, but I don't know the week what of that would be. Ignite? Oh, that's what it is. Ignite. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, 27th should be fine. All right, two weeks, people. Two weeks. See you all then. Until then, uh, take it easy. Bye. Bye. Bye.